children in today's english class we are going to learn a new lesson before starting the lesson let us revise the poetry which we had learnt in the last class time for everything there's a time to run and a time to walk there's a time for silence a time for talk there's a time for work and a time for play there's a time for sleep at the close of day There is a time for everything you do for children and for grown-ups too a time to stand up and a time to sit but see that the time and actions fit once again there is a time to run and a time to walk there is a time for silence a time for talk there is a time for work and a time for play there is a time for sleep at the close of day There's a time for everything you do for children and for grown-ups too. A time to stand up and a time to sit, but see that the time and actions fit. So today, now let us start with a new lesson in the world of dictionaries. What is a dictionary that we are going to come to know in this lesson? First, let's read the lesson, and I will. explain the lesson 2 we often come across words that are unfamiliar to us when we read books newspapers or magazines we also hear new words and phrases when we watch tv programs how do we find the meanings of these words now say many a times when you talk to your elders or when you are reading the books when you read newspapers magazines magazines are the books in which small stories and all will come in these books many a times we come across the words and phrases and we don't understand the meaning of it then we find that these words are unfamiliar to us means we don't know them In the classroom the teacher is always available to the students to tell the meaning of new and difficult words but she cannot accompany every student all the time to explain the meaning of every new word now in the classroom in the school teachers are always there for you to help you if you don't find the meaning if you don't uh, understand the meaning of any word you immediately come and ask the teacher and teacher will tell you at that time but can your teacher be there with you all the time wherever you go no it's not possible besides grown up people also need help in this respect a language has hundreds of thousands of words in it it is impossible for one person to know all of them but all these words can be explained in a dictionary okay it's not the only small children who don't know the meaning of some words even the grown up people even the teachers even the doctors all the educated people also come across this problem because in a language there are lakhs and lakhs of words can we know the meaning of all those lakhs words no it's not possible so all these words can be explained in a dictionary at some time or other you must have been advised to look up a word in a dictionary by your teachers or parents Let us now see what the word dictionary means. Given below are some examples of how the word might be explained in different dictionaries. So many a times when you don't understand the word you go and ask your parents then your parents say come on you have a dictionary at home go and look into it. Even teachers give you some words from the lesson and they tell you you go home and write the meanings of these words in your book 
So, now let us see what is this word dictionary actually means and here they have given you few examples and how the word is explained that is also mentioned in this. Dictionary noun it is a noun a book in which words are listed in alphabetical order from A to Z. You look up a word in a dictionary to find out what it means and how to spell it. So, dictionary is a book in which all the words are listed in A to Z order means you all know the alphabets children A, B, C, D they come in that order. So, the same way all the words in a dictionary are listed in the alphabetical order means first A will come and after all the A words complete then they start with the B word after all B words then the C. So, like this it is listed till Z and from this dictionary you will also find out the meaning of the word and also you will get the spelling of this word. Now, dictionary. So, now can you observe here children they have shown different way of writing that is how to pronounce it that is what is written there and the plural of this dictionary is dictionaries. Did you observe that ending letter of dictionary is y. So, when you make it plural you have to remove y and make it ies. <clears throat> a book that gives a list of words in alphabetical order and explains their meanings in the same language or another language. So, dictionary can be from English to English, English to Marathi, Marathi to Marathi, Marathi to Hindi like this. So, it can be of same language or it can be of another language. A book that explains words used in a subject. So, the words which are used in one particular subject that words meaning also it will tell. See the same word may be different in different subject. Okay. So, it may be the meaning may be different in another subject. So, there the meaning changes. Now, dictionary now here in the bracket they have written it in Marathi how to pronounce it. Okay. Dictionaries Shabdanche Artha Uchar Vapar Ya Baddal Mahiti Denare Pustak Shabda Kosh Kosh. So, in Marathi they have given the meaning of dictionary. Thus, we see that a dictionary shows us many things. So, from this we understand that a dictionary shows us many things. Words in a dictionary are usually arranged in alphabetical order. So, I explained to you that in a dictionary all the words are arranged in alphabetical order. A dictionary tells us what a word means. So, a dictionary tells us the meaning of the word. A dictionary shows us how a word is spelled means a dictionary also shows us the correct spelling of the word. A dictionary tells us how a word is pronounced. So, a dictionary also tells us the proper pronunciation of the word. A dictionary shows us the different forms of the same word. For example, rose, roses, go, going, went, gone, etc. So, a dictionary shows us different forms of the same word means now you all know that when it is a noun you have plural and sometimes if it is a male gender they will also show you the female gender like this and if it is a verb go is a verb. So, ing form of the verb past tense past participle all this are shown in the dictionary. 
A dictionary tells us with the help of examples how a word is used. So, many a times in some dictionaries you will find the way the word is used in the sentence. A dictionary lists many other words, phrases related to that word. So, in some dictionaries there are words or phrases that are related to that particular word. A dictionary points out the different meanings of words which have the same spelling. See now some words they have the same spelling, but the meanings are different. So, that also they show in the dictionary. A dictionary also tells us the grammatical class to which a word belongs. So, grammatical class you know in your third standard you have learnt about different grammatical classes basic ones like noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjectives. So, these different classes also are shown in the dictionary. If you remember in our earlier page we learnt dictionary right. Can you hear it is written here noun? Yes. First one, first box dictionary noun means it will tell you whether it is a noun or it is an adjective that also it will tell you. You will learn about these classes of words when you are a little older. So, when you grow up, when you go to your higher classes, you will learn about these words. So, now let us read this lesson once again children. In the world of dictionaries, we often come across words that are unfamiliar to us when we read books, newspapers or magazines. We also hear new words and phrases when we watch TV programs. How do we find the meaning of these words? In the classroom, the teacher is always available to the students to tell the meaning of new and difficult words, but she cannot accompany every student all the time to explain the meaning of every new word. Besides, grown up people also need help in this respect. A language has hundreds of thousands of words in it. It is impossible for one person to know all of them, but all these words can be explained in a dictionary. At the same time or uh, sorry at some time or other you must have been advised to look up a word in a dictionary by your teachers or parents. Let us now see what the word dictionary means. Given below are some examples of how the word might be explained in different dictionaries. Dictionary now a book in which words are listed in alphabetical order from A to Z. You look up a word in a dictionary to find out what it means and how to spell it. Dictionary plural dictionaries. A book that gives a list of words in alphabetical order and explains their meanings in the same language or another language. A book that explains words used in a subject. Dictionary Dictionaries Shabdanche Artha Uchar Vapar Ya Baddal Mahiti Denare Pustak Shabdakosh Kosh. Thus, we see that. A dictionary shows us many things. 
Words in a dictionary are usually arranged in alphabetical order. A dictionary tells us what a word means. A dictionary shows us how a word is spelt. A dictionary tells us how a word is pronounced. A dictionary shows us the different forms of the same word. For example, rose, roses, go, going, went, gone, etc. A dictionary tells us with the help of examples how a word is used. A dictionary lists many other words, phrases related to that word. A dictionary points out the different meanings of words which have the same spelling. A dictionary also tells us the grammatical class to which a word belongs. You will learn about these classes of words when you are a little older. So, see children here are pictures of few dictionaries. Uh, this is the picture of an Oxford dictionary. It is a picture dictionary. Here there will be more pictures in the dictionary. Now, this is a small dictionary. Usually, every student should have this dictionary. So, now let us learn few opposites that is antonyms unfamiliar, familiar, new, old, available, unavailable, difficult, easy. Impossible, possible, unexplained, explained, different, same. See, if you observe, you can make antonym by adding two or three letters before the word. For example, here, first one, if you observe, familiar, and if you add the letters u, n, it becomes the opposite of that word. Okay, unfamiliar, familiar, new old, available, unavailable, here again we are adding u, n letters, difficult, easy, impossible, possible. Now, for possible, if you add i, m, then it becomes an antonym, unexplained, explained, different, same. So, let us read once again, unfamiliar, familiar, new, old, available, unavailable, difficult, easy, impossible, possible, unexplained, explained, different, same. So, I hope you all are having this type of dictionaries with you children. Now, when I was explaining to you children, I told you that different dictionary shows different things. First of all, it is arranged in an alphabetical order. So, if you observe this page, all the words are starting from L. Then how to search the word? Then we have to look into the second letter of the word. Then here again, all the words are starting from L, O. Then we have to see the third letter. You, you, even in that, three words are with L, O, U. Then we have to see the fourth letter. Even if fourth letter is same, then we have to see the fifth letter. So, like this, we have to search the wor words in a dictionary. And it is very easy once you learn how to find out the words in alphabetical order. I think writing the words in alphabetical order, you learn in, in second or third standards. Now, in a dictionary, they also tell us the meaning of a word and here, I have taken the word read. Read is a verb and it is also a noun. So, here first they are showing us the meaning of read. 
see you can find out there are three or more meaning for the same word okay now here if it's a noun then they have given you different meaning now in the box if you observe see here they have given you the usage of the word how it is used in a sentence now read he never learnt to read and write have you read any good books lately okay now one more thing is that they have given the meaning of the word in english and also in the bracket they have given it in the hindi so it is showing you the meaning of the word english to english and also english to hindi so this way dictionaries help us to learn a lot about a word so now let us continue reading of this lesson once again children we will read it once again in the world of dictionaries we often come across words that are unfamiliar to us when we read books newspapers or magazines we also hear new words and phrases when we watch tv programs how do we find the meanings of these words in the classroom the teacher is always available to the students to tell the meaning of new and difficult words but she cannot accompany every student all the time to explain the meaning of every new word besides grown up people also need help in this respect a language has hundreds of thousands of words in it it is impossible for one person to know all of them but all these words can be explained in a dictionary at some time or other you must have been advised to look up a word in a dictionary by your teachers or parents let us now see what the word dictionary means given below are some examples of how the word might be explained in different dictionaries dictionary noun a book in which words are listed in alphabetical order from a to z you look up a word in a dictionary to find out what it means and how to spell it dictionary plural dictionaries a book that gives a list of words in alphabetical order and explains their meanings in the same language or another language a book that explains words used in a subject dictionary dictionaries shabdanche arth uchchar vapar ya baddal mahiti denare pustak shabdakosh kosh thus we see that dictionaries shows us many things words in a dictionary are usually arranged in alphabetical order a dictionary tells us what a word means a dictionary shows us how a word is spelt a dictionary tells us how a word is pronounced a dictionary shows us the different forms of the same word for example rose roses go going went gone etc a dictionary tells us with the help of examples how a word is used a dictionary lists many other words phrases related to that word a dictionary points out the different meanings of words which have the same spelling a dictionary also tells us the grammatical class to which a word belongs you will learn about these classes of words 
when you are a little older. So children, please read this lesson again when you are free and we will continue this lesson in the next class. Till then, goodbye.